effectively. You will not allow yourself to be shaken in whatever uh, situation you will undergo. You will not allow yourself to be down. You will not allow yourself to be looked at. So people can despise you. People can fail to understand you. An illustration of circumstances can affect your life. No matter whatever you pass through, but as a believer, if you know who you are in Christ, you will remain firm. The Bible says in the book of First uh, uh, Corinthians chapter 15 and verses 57 and 58. First Corinthians uh, chapter 15. And verses 58, uh, 57 and 58. I like this. The Bible says, <coughs> Are you there? Okay. First Corinthians chapter, chapter 15, verse 58. Yeah, 15, uh, 57, 58. Says, Let me read verse uh, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Knowing that your labor in the Lord is not in vain in the Lord. Basi ni kuzamu wapendwa, ni marike usikizike, mukasini sana kutenga kazi ya Bwana, siku zote kwa kuwa kujua ya kwamba tabu yenu sio bure katika Bwana. Somebody who knows who, 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 who he is in Christ. I said he will stand and he will be found in his Christian life. So if you know who you are in Christ, you will not be moved. You will not be, be shaken. And as a leader or as a believer, always will be abounding in the work of the Lord. Because our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Your labor in the Lord is not in vain. I listen to somebody. Can I hear many of you are listening? So I will be sharing few, a uh, few, few things here which can help you to understand who you are in Christ. So today I'm going to share with you few things. These few areas will help us understand who we are Remember, I have reminded you. The moment you discover this, you will not be shaken as a believer. You will not be moved. And you will give yourself fully to the work of God. Wherever you are, it doesn't matter the area you are living in. It doesn't matter the work you are doing. Even if you are a student, if you are a worker somewhere, 
As long as you are a believer and you know who you are, you will stand firm. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to see Christian who will stand firm. Believer who will not be shaken. Even if the economy changes, you will not, you will not be shaken. Because the Bible says, my righteous are live by faith. So by faith you will live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even when the things come and change, you will not be changed. Even when things become hard, you will still remain a believer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will see somebody. So number one, the thing you need to understand. So you need to know that you are a child of God. Number one, what you need to know who you are in Christ. You are a child of God. And you don't need to doubt about that. I'm reading for you from the book of First uh, from the book of John, chapter one. The Bible clearly says, John chapter one, in verse twelve. But as many as received him, who received who? Those who received Jesus Christ. To them he gave power. To them he gave rights. To become the children of God. To those who believe in his name. Verse 13. Who are born not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh. Nor of the will of a man. But of God. Shout I am a child of God. The Bible affirms those who received Jesus Christ. They are sons and daughters of God. So you are a child of God. And if you are a child of God, you have a right to go before Him. If you are in need, you can ask him whatever you want. And he can grant it to you. He can tell you either to wait or he can leave it to you. So you are a child of God. And the Bible says, those who fear God, The Bible says, even young lions may lack something. But those who fear the Lord, they will lack nothing. So if you are a child of God, you have a right to go before Him with all boldness. Because you are a child of God.
of God. Ila kwa mapenzi yake Mungu. You are born of God. Umezaliwa na Mungu. And that's why we call ourselves born again believers. Sasa unajiita waumini na waliamini na yakusema. The Bible says the book of John chapter 3. Katika Yohana mlango wa 3. This is was the conversation between Jesus and this Pharisees by the name of Nicodemus. The teacher of the law. The Bible says he came to Jesus secretly to his, to want to know A ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night. And said to him, Rabbi, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher. Come from God. For no one can do this signs that you do unless God is with him. Oh, 
working place. Do things as a new creature. Number three, you need to know that you are hidden with the grass in the You are hidden. And that's why forces of darkness, if you are hidden in Christ, they cannot overcome you. You are hidden in Christ. The Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 3, in the verses 3, for you are dying, for you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Your life, is hidden in the future. So when the enemy comes, and that's why you don't need to fear witchcraft. You don't need to fear witches. Because your life is hidden. They cannot protect and reach you as a believer. Unless you compromise. And the devil gain access to your life. You have authority and you have power over the forces of darkness. Because your life is hidden. The enemy cannot reach you. You have power and authority for God to overcome all forces of darkness. Jesus himself said, and he told the disciples, I saw the devil coming down as a lettering. But behold, I have given you power and authority to treat a poor scorpion, to treat a poor snake, and all powers of the enemy. So you have power as a believer. Because your life is hidden in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are listening, can you see by the show of your hand? Shouting hallelujah. Your life is hidden. Tell your neighbor, don't fear your life is hidden. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Walk in great power of Jesus. Number four. You need to know. That you are chosen of God. You are chosen of God. Holy and dear love. Unaweza tuma usaidizi wako katika lipa na mpesa pedi namba nne sufuri mili moja nne nane nne saba Ntarudia tena nne sufuri mili moja nane nne saba Ani mepotea, jilikuwa mpesa